Hey guys, today we're going to test out the brand new displays live filter added to Affinity Photo in version 2. Actually, there was a displays filter in version 1, but they totally redesigned this filter. It's live filter means it's non-destructive way of applying some kind of displacement distractions on a certain layers. In this example, I'm going to use a text layer. So let's grab a text tool and type text. Let's fill this text with white color so we can see it on the darker background. Reposition. Let's put it to the center of the image and that's our sample text. Now we will try this live filter I mentioned. So let's go down here below the layer panel our live filters are here. As you can see, there are so many. The first group is for blurs, then for clarity and sharpening, and then for displacing distortions. So that's what we need to use here, this place. Let's click on it, it will pop up like that. The live filter is attached already to this text layer. And now we can use the layer below, and this will be used to displace this text layer. And as you can see, now it's not just random displays, it's using the layer below to create a custom displays so the text can mix nicely with the original texture on the layer below. It's super handy when you try to put the realistic text on the wood, on the stone. Take a look, it's displacing it differently on the fire. And if I move the whole text with this, on it, take a look, so nice. Now this fire in the original background is displacing the text. So it was really quick and there are so many possibilities to use that trick. All right, let's put it to the center and do some more testing for this live filter. All right, I can edit the text. The text is still editable even with filter applied to it. So that's super important. It's live filter so it's non-destructive nice let's check a different picture a brighter one with water on it all right now i will go back to the text layer double tap on the filter icon and i can again get the data from the layer below click here first and then you can modify with the slider so now we are taking the data from this picture and this Distortion is totally different. Take a look. It's totally different. Now we are mixing the text with this water waves here. Of course, we can apply some transformation on the text itself if you want to rotate or transform in any other way, even with warping and stuff like that. That's possible. All right. How about on the wood? Again, let's grab the texture from the layer below. Nice. Look so nice already. Take a look we can very quickly imitate like this wood is painted. So this rough edge, the paint going between texture. So that's really nice. Of course, we can add a blend mode to it. We can modify the blend mode. So far we use only normal mode, but you can also modify the blend mode for more realistic approach. Next one is dark paper. Again, let's pick that up. And as you can see, it's this time is a gentle, just a little bit to match the paper on the layer below. That's really, really nice and really quick. And the last one is more like a grunge, dirty texture. And take a look. Wow, it's so nice. The text, like the pouring into those cracks. Can you see that? like the white color from the text is pouring into those cracks. If I make it yellow and change the blend mode to overlay maybe, it's almost like somebody realistically paint this surface, right? And that's actually just a fake text in the graphic software. With just this one filter plus blend mode, we get a quite realistic result, I would say, all right? So as you can see, the brand new displays filter is much, much better than in version one. I hope this video was helpful. Please consider subscribing to my little YouTube channel. It's all about learning more about creative apps like this. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.